So, it's too bad you weren't, I can't hear you. You're, uh, there we go. There you go. Yeah, certainly a positive, fun group. It's too bad you didn't miss the beginning. I mean, you missed, you should have been there from the get go because it's just interesting, <laughs> right? Just to, to see people's feedback and to have the Zoom going at the same time as the chat. Like it's, it's a very interesting, uh, at some point, I think we'll have like a play by play and have the chat yeah. and you can watch the chat and, and see, you know, what people are doing and commenting, right? You could have quite a good comedy show, I think. <laughs> I think if you had a debate, right? You have a debate inside. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do like a sports commentary. Yeah. 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 I was thinking about that too. I think it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, great work, man. Like just great work. Like it, you needed to do that focus to get that done. Right. That's not something you can do half ass. You gotta. Yeah. Well, it took a lot of work and I'm glad it seemed to work just fine. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think for some reason, Darmendra had a hard time coming in. So he was, uh, Oh, yeah, so that's that's knocking at the door. <laughs> I don't know if his email was wrong or something. Or oh, you know what? No, that's my fault. <laughs> what? I uh, I screwed him up personally. <laughs> oh. Totally not on purpose, but because uh, the number that he has given in the database, I was I was trying to do something, and his number was the one that was being affected. Now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Anyway, I'll, I'll send a little note saying that. Um, uh, probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was cool. Great yeah. group, eh? Like, we got, like, there's some great rapport. They're, uh, they're very excited. They want to implement it, you know, and we're going to have, you know, basically 144 people testing it out, like I said, right? So. Yeah, it'll be awesome. I mean, that's. This is this is huge, man. This is huge. Well, yeah, and I will um, pick away at it the rest of this week and try to get the other stuff done. And so from my end, I come in as a facilitator because already is that just by the nature of my email? Uh, yeah, I mean, ultimately. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Ultimately, maybe you'll just be a user too. I guess whatever you want. Well, I just, I just want, I have access to the back end, right? Uh, yeah, you do. Well, you have access to the team right now of the LCL team. Okay. But eventually they're going to want that. Yeah. And so um, we just do it in layers, right? Because at some point I'm going to need, need like the ability to activate groups. Like, I mean, what I want is the ability to activate shared knowledge communities. So what we're looking at LCL is we create all the screens for the shared knowledge community. And then once we've got that, then we can just duplicate that. And then that's how we build shared knowledge communities, right? Yes. At this, yeah, this, this right now, um, all I've done is made one team, um, one team and one facilitator you, and then the next step is to make the thing above that, which can create more teams with one facilitator each and more members for each team. And then the step after that is to create entire no other platforms. So the LCL the whole thing is here, you know, this whole thing is over here, except so the groups and in those cases have nothing to do with the other groups over here, for instance. Yeah. And yeah. So there's going to be two sets. There's going to be the LCL content teams, and then there's going to be the synergy team. So that's the cross indexing of like, there's going to be one player on each team, like, on every one of those teams, there's going to be somebody on the research team, and that creates the research team. Do you understand? Is this, is, is this in like, you mean LCL's model or something you want to No, do? Well, this is the, the shared knowledge community. It's like they have 12 teams, right? And what yeah. there isn't is there isn't information flowing between the teams. And right. so in the next month in collective intelligence, then they're going to go into the, 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 the another set of teams where if you took one person from each one of those teams and put them and they're the researcher, then that creates the research team. And if you take one person who's like the infrastructure guy, then that's our infrastructure team so that we create the synergy, you know, the synergy map of, of research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, 
these are more business teams, right? So okay. we're, we're, we're going to have two sets of 12 teams. One's going to be at the harm. One's going to be at their level. And then there's going to be another at the inner inflow matrix synergy level. Nice. Yeah, that's and awesome. so I, and I'm making the, the headers for that. So it's basically just going to be two sets of 12 teams. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Um, we just have to do that by roles. So yeah, each person is eventually going to have a role like the researcher of the team, whatever, and then that'll determine what synergy team they're on or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's no problem. Um, yeah. Okay. Cause then, yeah. Cause then they can obviously participate in more than one group. Like if you're on the energy team and you're on the marketing team, like it's just like every one of those teams at some point is going to need a marketing team, right? Like there's just, there's too much to do. And if, if, if like the energy team is creating an energy platform and they're building a new energy platform, you know, the marketing team is going to be what sells it. Right. So it's just, it's, it's looking at how to create a matrix of all the content areas versus your functional areas. Well, yeah, I really like the idea of the crossover team or matrix or whatever you're calling it. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah, for our <coughs> organization, that makes a lot of sense because yeah, if you got 144 people, uh, one thing you can do is put them all in the same room or in the same chat room and have a giant discussion, but it's not always useful, but to have, yeah, 12 teams of 12, they can break down and do things, but at the same time to have 12 teams of 12 with you know, 12 roles per team and those roles create other teams. Yeah, that's pretty damn smart. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's where we're heading and I'll make the headings for that um, and send them to you. And uh, good job, man. Just fantastic. Like I know <laughs> all the things you got to get done and, and that's, that was a hero type, like, cause we need that. Right. I mean, it, it's the timing. We're in the matter of the timing right now. And if it's perfect timing to get this done. Yeah. And, and believe me, I will be spending a lot of time utilizing the tools. So <laughs> I will, uh, <laughs> we both have a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> but you see like, this is, this is, has so much leverage. Like once, once it's built, like we're basically building as like the you're building the neural net for the planet and that you know you're we're, we're taking pieces of your planetary game and we're creating it right yeah so yeah and i mean uh the, like an interesting way to run something like that too in, in or in a piece of it is uh say you know because once we have the software or the the system whatever you want to say this can be useful for the old forest forest growth our old growth forest team, for instance, yeah, it could be useful for um, a government. It could be useful for a corporation. So all we got to do is just have a full software bundle there. You know, a few different tiers and all that crap. Have some salespeople at some point, commission only to start, so we never pay anything, mm. and we sell it, you know, per month or whatever to the corporations, and then give it to give it for free to the nonprofits. Yeah. And the corporations end up paying for all the stuff that everyone else gets for free. And that's the way the world should be moving towards, I think. Yeah, for sure. Take the money from the old paradigm and build a new paradigm. Yeah, literally just take it from here, give them something they can use and take their money and give this thing, the same thing to for free to everyone else and make it better and better with all this money that comes in and slowly you got the money going over here or, or not even the money because eventually it's just the power or the, the energy or whatever goes the other way. Yeah. And even like show people how to make money with it, but in the new paradigm, like that's essentially what I see happening with LaSalle is at some point they have to take their ideas and create new businesses. And that's, we're giving them the tools to help them out. And the conversation types are going to be a huge part of that. Right. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Good to see. Good to do. You are the man. You are the man. You did a fantastic work, my friend. All right. Excellent. Very appreciated by the team. Very appreciated by me. And, uh, but get back to work and get it finished. <laughs> All right.
<laughs> well, it's 10 to 6 in the morning here, so I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to get up and go to school. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. See you, my brother. All right. All right. <laughs> good morning oh. and good night. <laughs>